Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on system of equations. All right, so if you notice we have an equation of a line and a, an equation of a quadratic. And so for something like this, um, we could have two, one if it hits right at that uh, vertex or if it's tangent, it doesn't have to be the vertex as long as it's tangent, or we could have a situation where they don't intersect at all. So we have to figure out what case we have, which situ situation, and what the solution is. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this negative six X plus Y equaling negative 10 and solve it for Y. I'm gonna add the six X to both sides and get Y equals six X minus 10. Then I'm gonna take the second equation, the x squared minus y plus 5x equaling one, and I'm gonna take the first equation, this 6x minus 10, and I'm going to substitute it in for the y of the second equation so that I have x squared minus, and instead of that y, I'm gonna replace it with 6x minus 10, putting the y of the first equation into the y of the second, plus 5x equals 1. So I substitute the 6x minus 10 into the y of the second equation. Now, when I distribute, there's an implied 1 here, and this negative 1 needs to multiply into both items of the parentheses. So I have x squared minus 6x plus 10, negative times a negative is a positive, plus 5x equals 1. I have two like terms and I want to subtract the one over. So I have x squared, negative six plus five is a negative one x, and 10 minus one is plus nine. All right, I'm gonna bring this all up here so I can work with it more easily. x squared minus x plus nine equals zero. To factor this, um, because this is positive, the signs have to be the same. But because this is negative and they have to add to a negative, they both need to be negative. Well, that doesn't add up to 1. And negative 3, negative 3 also does not add up to 1. So my first instinct is no solution. However, there's nothing that says that these two points, if they intersect at two points, there's nothing that says that they have to be pretty integers or pretty rationals. Fractions can be pretty. So what I need to do next is double check with the quadratic formula. So a is equal to one, b is equal to negative one, c is equal to nine, and x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four a c all over two a. x is equal to one plus or minus the square root of this is 1 minus 36, so negative 35, all over 2. Well, negative 35 is imaginary. And if that's imaginary, that means this is no solution. It means we're in a situation where the line and the quadratic do not intersect. Um, I did need to double check. I could have just double checked with the b squared minus 4ac, and if the b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, it means no solution. Um, but I just double checked with the whole quadratic formula because a lot of times it's just easier to have the whole formula memorized and you're just adding a negative b and a 2a. And Anyways, no solution. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.